everyone okay so I'm going to do a quick tutorial or at least attempt to do a quick tutorial uh, and when I'm painting myself and I'm talking I waste more time so uh, I'm just going to use a cute little um, a split cake and I'll put all the information down below but I thought I'd go ahead and try this out and play around with it and I'm just going to do a, a cute little candy corn mask because I love candy corns and uh, the easiest way that uh, to make a candy corn is to kind of do half the candy corn on one way like you kind of do it this way and then the other half going that way and I'll just show you so I want to try to make the point go to the center of the eye or at least pretty close so I'm gonna go down and then back up like that that way you have more of a true candy corn there. Okay, and then we'll go down here. Down. See how it's half? That way the point is more pointed. There you go, just like that. Okay, and then here I'm going to do one here. Again, half. You just need to take your time. Okay, and then we'll do another one. Down that way up like that and then on the other side of the face which I'll go ahead and pull oh if you're a face painter your arm is probably constantly painted yep see that I'm always painting myself I'm gonna add a little bit more water just I barely tipped the brush into the water and now I'm orange okay it'll clear up here in just a second there we go it's starting to already it's pretty dark today and I don't know why Probably should have opened up the window. Wish I thought about that. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna try to, to do the exact same thing on the other side. It's a lot easier when you're um, when you're painting a kid. There we go. Just like that. You can always one thing that's fun about face paint is before it dries you can wipe it so there's that make sure it's not upside down and again attempt to do it okay like that okay and then I'm actually gonna make that a little thicker just so that points a little bit more uniform and then this one just going to take some white. Wolf white's my favorite. I've used the Diamond FX, but I don't really, I try not to buy too much of their products anymore. Okay. And I always test it on the back of my hand. And then I'm just going to do a series of teardrops. some teardrops here. I like to do a series of three like that. Okay, like that. And then I'd really like to get some swirls in there. Let's see, let's do a swirl up here. Just clean it up if the edge gets a little uneven. It's a lot easier, like I said, on kids. And then I'm just going to carry down that tail like that. Okay, and then I'm actually going to extend it out like that. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing on that side. Bring it up and down like that. Okay. 
Just clean up anything. It's a lot easier when you've got kids. Okay. And then, let's see. We're just going to do some little blobs here and there. Just pressing down different. And since I've got four on that side, I probably should do four on that side. And then I'm going to do some teardrops on or some swirls down here. Just a big one. Just like we did on that other one. Okay. And then I'm going to bring that into more of a teardrop there. And again. You see that? And then I can bring that in. Alright, like that. Okay. And then we'll add some dots. We'll add one dot here. You can actually do a rhinestone, which I would definitely suggest. It really makes it pop. Okay, and then you can do, let's see if I can attempt it. I never can do it myself very well when it comes to teardrops. I don't know why teardrops just don't. There we go. Work for me. On myself. <laughs> I can do it so fast. Alright, and then I'm going to add some stars. We're doing layered starbursts. Like that. I love that. And you can add another one if you want. Let's see what else, what else. And then we're going to add some um, gel. And I'm going to use some gold gel today. Glitter gel. Shake it down in case it starts to come out. And then we're just going to do some simple, um, I think I'm going to do the top. And just start slowly bringing it out. And I like it thin, so make sure you get a good line. And I'm just going to hit the top of it. Okay. Then this side. Again, when you're working with the kids, it'll go so much faster. Alright, and then I'm going to trace some of this. Some of that. just like that and then okay all right like that and hopefully you can see all that glitter and then you can add um let's do a little bit in here just a little bit not to touch the other. Alright, just like that. So hopefully you all like this tutorial and uh, look for more face painting tutorials coming your way. And I'll definitely take a picture and hopefully post it. And uh, we'll see you all later. Bye.